what's going on everybody this is super live and we are back with another live stream of super smash brothers ultimate yep it's been a while guys since the last time we streamed this game on the channel but we're back it is a saturday night and we are going to be doing some online battles featuring all of you our viewers in super smash brothers ultimate Let's go ahead and do our shout-outs for everybody who's joining us here at the very beginning of the stream. Let's say hello to Sparkadilla Animations, Osmotion, The Unrivaled Phantom, Commander Calico, Classic, Tracer Pie Music, DJ, Sebastian Echevarria, Mini Racer Fan, Agent 810, Jonathan Vasquez, Austin the Red Blur Hedgehog, and I believe that is everybody. Welcome to the live stream, friends. Great to have you all joining us here at the beginning of the live stream. We're going to go ahead and get started with our first battle tonight. It's going to be Agent 810 as Sora and Gumbo Boy as Samus Aaron. We got Jeremy in a live chat. Welcome, Jeremy. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the live stream. We've got 11 of you watching the show right now. We're at 8 likes. If you haven't already, do me a favor, guys. Hit that like button. Remember the likes and comments you leave here. Definitely help the channel grow. It also tells us that you guys uh, want to continue seeing this live stream content here on our channel. Nicholas Von Kolb says he got Star Wars Battlefront Collection for the PlayStation 5. Really? All right, sounds good there. Spark Sparks in the uh, voice chat there. Try to get some more uh, people in the uh, voice chat there, Spark, if we can. We got Meep in the live chat. Hello, Meep. Good to see you. How are you tonight? Thank you for joining us. And Austin, the Red Blur Hedgehog, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and welcome to the Super Live Gaming Community, friend. All right, Gumbo Boy with the elimination. Agent 810 now down to two. Gumbo Boy leads with three stock on board. Coming down to the four-minute remaining mark on the clock. Still plenty of time for eliminations at this time. Sparkadilla Animations gifting one gifted membership to the YouTube channel. Looks like it went to Agent 810. So thank you, Sparkadilla Animations, for your donation. We appreciate that. Uh, Cricket Lover 19, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Welcome to the Super Live Gaming Community. Another elimination by Gumbo Boy. Agent 810 in trouble here. He's down to his final stock. Gumbo Boy at 106% damage. Can Agent 810 capitalize? Coming down to the 3 minute and 10 second remaining mark on the clock. Agent 810 succeeds in eliminating Gumbo Boy. Gumbo Boy now down to 2 stock here. Agent 810 still facing an uphill battle here. As he has to eliminate 2 of Gumbo Boy's stock. Agent 810 down to his final here. Indeed, indeed, Sparkadel Animations, it's great. Oh, and there's the elimination. A nice spike by Gumbo Boy there. Agent 810 out of the match. So now Gumbo Boy will stay on stage and wait for a new challenger to enter the arena. As we enter round two on this first arena on tonight's live stream tonight. Folks, if you know anybody else that would like to join us on tonight's live stream, there's a share icon just below the video screen there. You can share on the various social media platforms, Discord, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, all those sites, guys. Have your friends come on by and join us tonight. All right, so now we have Tyler Gamer entering the arena, and it looks like Tyler Gamer is going with Ridley. So now we have a cannon battle here with Samus Aaron versus Ridley. Should be an interesting matchup. Yes, Meep, uh, if there's any openings in the next arena, you are more than welcome to join in the next one. We do lobby resets every seven matches.
All right. Joining me for voice commentary tonight is none other than Sparkadillo Animations, friends. Sparkadillo, Hello. go ahead and introduce yourself. All right. <clears throat> Hello there. I'm Sparkadillo Animations. I make animations and art on the YouTube platform. I join a lot of these Smash turn uh, <clears throat> uh, streams and uh, usually have some fun in them, you know, with other players. And it's great for all of you people to join in to the stream. And this is a day long been waiting for. Yeah, it has been a while. In fact, uh, I think the last one uh, we were trying to do, uh, I was unfortunately sick, so I wasn't able to stream then. It's perfectly reasonable. Yeah. Wow, we're already even like a minute into the match, and yeah, last stock and three stock going for uh, Gumbo. Yeah, it looks like uh, Gumbo Boy good. has a solid lead here, and uh, Tyler Gamers Ridley not having a hot match tonight. In fact, Tyler Gamer now at 122 percent damage on final stock here. All right, looks like oh, Tyler man, Gamer fails to recover, falls into the abyss. So Gumbo Boy by default wins the match. And that's a win. Now yeah, I go. will be up. And usually I will be uh, muted for this. Yeah, that's fine. Austin the Red Blur Hedgehog says, I also am going to be laggy, so don't take this hard on me, please, because right now I'm going to be left like that for a while until the power grid is fixed. Okay. We got Trainer Mystic in the live chat. Welcome there, Trainer Mystic. Good to see you, buddy. Ebony McGee and Wendy joining us in the live chat as well. Welcome to the two of you. Thank you guys so much for being here. And guys, thank you. Thank you so much for uh, joining us on tonight's live stream of Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. All right, sounds good there, Mini Racer fan. Not tonight, trainer. All right, good use of the uh, shield block there by uh, Gumbo Boy. Sparkadilla at 121% damage. One wrong move, and C Gumbo Boy could cause an elimination here. We're now down to four minutes remaining in the match here. Both Gumbo Boy and Sparkadillo in dangerous territory. Oh, Sparkadillo, unable to recover, falls into the abyss. So now Sparkadillo is down to two stock. Gumbo Boy leads once again. All right, Gumbo Boy in the air. Can Sparkado do an elimination here? Let's see. And there it is. A nice elimination there. Gumbo Boy now tied with Sparkadillo. Two for two. Three minutes, 30 seconds remaining on the clock. All right, Sparkadillo falling into the abyss once again, and now Gumbo Boy leads with two stocks. Sparkadillo down to his final stock here. Gumbo Boy at 98% damage. Two minutes, 45 seconds remaining on the clock. All right, good back-to-back -back hits there. Another one. Gumbo Boy still in. Still in with two stock here. Oh, he's now at 159% damage. And there's the elimination. Now Gumbo Boy and Spark tied one for one. Two minutes, 25 seconds remaining on the clock.
All right, Sparkadillo in dangerous territory here. He's at 100% damage right now. Gumbo Boy looking to do an elimination. We're now down to 1 minute and 30 seconds remaining on the clock here. And there's the elimination. Gumbo Boy eliminating Sparkadillo. And Gumbo Boy wins three matches tonight, so that is the three win streak. So as a result of winning three matches back-to-back, -back, Gumbo Boy will move back to the end of the line and will get two new fighters to enter the arena to challenge each other for the next match. Zach Carmen, welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. All right, so now we have ATRBH. I think that is, uh, <laughs> I think that is Austin. Austin and Commander Calico for round four here as we get ready to start the fourth match tonight. Yeah, there is a sheer amount of control lag. <laughs> yeah. Say. All right. So it looks like uh, Austin will be going with Mario and Calico will be going with Yoshi. As usual. Right. Three, We're going to be over at Pokemon Stadium 2 for this match. Nice little start, slight little lag going on, but I to power through it. Let's see if Calico can have something up the sleeve. Oh man. Right, a bit repetitive with the forward smash. Calico kind of keeping the air game with the aerials. Nice up here. Another up here. Misses. Okay. To neutral. Okay. Ward air misses up smash, retaliates up B to furthermore the punish. Oh man. Some of the lag can be to blame for this. Jeez. Oh no. He does not recover. Alright, yep, Austin unable to recover, falls into the abyss, loses one stock. Calico leads now. Four minutes, fifteen seconds remaining. Alright. Yeah, blocks. Okay. This is the nair forward air. Able to get that forward tilt before that uh that smash attack was uh, initiated. Right. There. Back here, surprisingly. Firing through the egg. Again, the up air. Wasn't in time. Boy smash misses. Right. Calco keeping a pretty good lead. Stand their ground to repeat the damage before it probably loses their stock. Or there. Misses again. Yeah, Calico at 96% damage. Austin trying to get in there and capitalize on that and cause for elimination to even the odds. Yeah. All right. Really going for that uh, forward tilt up air right there. Uh, tries to go for the up B. Does not super it. Forward smash punishes. punishes and Calico take the stock with the three stick. The stock lead. Jab. Forward air. Neutral air. Tries to punish with the four. Oh no. I was gonna do a read. X throw. Will he go for the forward air spike? Oh, up B. That was a bit creative. Weslo. Yo. Hey, Eslo. Yeah, Austin working really hard to try and uh, take advantage of Calico's position here, damage wise. Still can't seem to get in there. This has definitely been an uphill battle for him. Okay. I'm starting to see a bit of a greedy movement with Calico. It might result in, in losing a stock. He's getting a bit too carried away, even though he's currently at 168%. So, yeah. Yeah. I guess he has every right to be. I don't know. That was a weird hitbox input right there. All right. A B. It gets end lag due to the down air. Keep on, keeps on going for those up airs. Will he succeed in the three stock? Oh. No, no, uh, Calico still in it with wrong. three. Oh, a beat. Oh, it there kills. it is. Austin yeah. managing to get Ooh. an elimination there. All right. Let's see if uh, Calico can close out this or uh, ARTB. Never mind. Oh, okay. he's still in it. Can he recover? Can he make it back? He does. Okay, let's see if ARTB can take off another stock without being eliminated. Just has to be very careful of what he does. Yeah, nice, this is nice uh, play very, by, uh, uh, very stressful position to be in right here with a uh, high damage and one stock, definitely. ARTB is being pretty safe about this. 
towards uh, Calico. He just really needs to get those aerials where he's the most vulnerable. Oh, forward smash ends. Gets the jab. Ooh, just barely missing the forward air. Oh, Clang. Oh, oh and is that it? it. That's it. Nicely done. Calico winning the match there. One's been, one's been practicing. Hello. All right, it was a good fight, a good effort by Austin there during that entire match. He was he had the odds against him the whole time, but he still managed to put up a really good fight against Commander Calico's Yoshi there. But Commander Calico will stay on stage, and Austin will move back to the end of the line. It's now time for Nuke to enter the arena for an opportunity to dominate. Let's see if he could pull it off as Pikachu. Ezlo, I think this is uh, your time to introduce yourself, my friend. Oh, is he there? You muted? Uh, maybe he stepped away for a bit. Hey, DJ, why don't you introduce yourself since you're here now, buddy? Hello, I'm DJ. I'm a moderator of Super Live Gaming, as well as Daily Gamer Mom, as well as Game Illuminary. Thank you guys for allowing me to co-host tonight on the Super Smash Bros. And... Can't wait to see who wins. Yeah. All right. Speaking of winning, oh, uh, currently SLG Nuke was in a little bit of a character crisis trying to choose uh, a character that suits him, and I previously was trained with him, and he was playing Pikachu. So this will probably be a pretty uh, even match since he's still kind of new to the character. Yeah, Spark, I got to tell you, this is uh, an unexpected surprise as uh, Nuke normally plays as the duo Pyra and Mithra. So, yeah, very surprised yeah. to see him go with Pikachu this time around. He actually dropped Pyra and Mithra from his uh, a character choice. I'd be very interested to know why he uh, did that suddenly. Interesting. I guess it's just how the character is played. It's very uh, easy to play, yeah. I guess that would be the word. Yeah, well, it looks like uh, Nuke has uh, been eliminated, so now he's down to two stock. Commander Calico leading with three stock, however, he's at 119% damage. Can Nuke capitalize on that? Yeah, Yoshi and Pikachu is a kind of a tricky matchup towards Pikachu. It's hard since uh, Yoshi has super armor on his double jump, which can be uh, intangible towards most moves. And since... Uh, I think, yeah, Yoshi has the best air mobility in the game as well. Wow, Calico is really, really knows what they're doing right now. Yeah, and uh, it looks like an elimination. Error. Oh, there we go. A well-timed oh, lightning nice strike, update. and Commander Calico's been uh, been eliminated. He's down to two now, tied with Nuke. Right. Oh, going with the bunches of forward aerials. It ends quite early. Not really want Nuke. Nuke wants for it. And Calco doing pretty good. Nice shield spacing. And I think he's faced like, against many Pikachus before. He's absolutely reading this guy like a book right now. Oh. Good back to back juggles there. Oh. Ooh. Calico gives that it back to him. That reminds me, once I was uh, up in the air, I was 38%, and Calico hit me one of those. I died from that. Yeah. 38%. Strong move not to be messed with. But oh man, can Calco actually beat Nuke? This is a never seen before occurrence. Yeah, Nuke at 126% damage. Very dangerous territory here. We're coming down to two minutes remaining in the match. Still plenty of time for eliminations, but yeah, this is good. This has been a very interesting matchup thus far. Nuke going with a, a new character this time around as uh, Pikachu. And Commander Calico putting up a really good fight here against Nuke as well. Okay, the tables are turning fast. Jeez. All right, Commander and Calico in trouble. He's down to his final stock it. here. Is that stock right there? Pretty clutch. Let's see if uh, Nuke can hold on to it and have a possible lead. Nice right. edge guard by Calico right yep. there. Calico evening the odds here, and it looks like they're one for one now. Anybody's game at this point. Really even. But, uh, see, Calico still probably has enough in him to uh, really punish uh, Pikachu, I mean Nuke for this. Right, really go for the forward airs, and it's it's working too, the neutral airs. 
The aerials is probably uh, Pikachu's weakness towards this. Man, you All right, coming down to one good, minute good. remaining here. Oh, back here. Oh, wow. Order? Nuke, uh, high damage there. Nuke now at 97. This is uh, very dangerous territory here. Okay, let's see. Right. Does it go? No? Okay. Let's smash attempt. Or tilt. I just go for the up air. I would have killed too. Oh. Oh, okay. It's about to land the up air, up air, down B right there. It's a pretty high damage combo right there. Right. He's going. Uh, Calico is being desperate for those forwarders. Oh, he lost his jump. Oh, he recovers too. Oh, did oh. he do it? No, he's oh, still no. in. Oh, punish. Oh, okay. He shields just in time. 15 seconds remaining. Oh, this, oh. Oh. Oh, up oh, air. oh, there it that is. Was so, that, was, that was awesome. Nice elimination nice there. Effort. And what an amazing match up between Nuke and Calico. Calico eat Nuke. Calico beats Nuke. That's not something you see. That is an amazing match there. And uh, wow, that was definitely a, uh, a very, very awesome match to watch between Commander Calico and Nuke. But Nuke, uh, Nuke unfortunately, will have to step back to the end of the line. And Calico will stay on stage as he gets challenged by Agent 810 in this next match. Okay, this will be Calico's last match to finish off the free winning streak. And it looks like Agent 18, uh, 810 is going to switch it up and go with Dark Samus this time around. Right, I guess uh, Dark Samus, I mean, Agent 810 is trying to prove that he's the better Samus around these grounds. See how this goes. All right. Okay, I'm back. Hey, welcome back, welcome Ezlo. Back. Uh, do you want to do your little introduction? Uh, I'll wait till after the end of this match. Oh, it just started, sure. bro. <laughs> Oh, okay, then. I'm Ezlo21. You can pretty much find me over here on YouTube, of course, over on Twitch. Yes, I was finishing Oracle Ages Heroes Secret Run, and then I started the uh, Oracle Seasons one, so yeah. Well, welcome, Ezlo. We're glad to have you on the show, buddy. Right. And happy to hear mm -hmm. that the uh, Oracle run's going well, too. Mm hmm. Okay, let's see. So we currently have Agent 810 at 98%. It's starting to even out a bit. But, uh, Calico really knows what he's doing with Yoshi. Oh! Almost Whoa, kills. nice! Oh, wow! It just spikes and then jumped back up for another up there. He was not done. That was amazing right there. That was uh, definitely clip worthy. That was a very nice maneuver there by Calico. I really knew what was going on with the uh, DI. With the. Uh, Right. You go for the charge shot. Oh. All right. Agent, Agent 810 managed terrible. to uh, even the odds here. They're now tied two for two. Wow. Carrying the bomb is quite impressive right there to really get an edge throughout that situation. Well, uh, Agent 810 is trying to keep it on the ground. Almost shield breaking. Oh. It's forward smash and the up smash. Will be enough to... Uh, Eliminate Calico. Right. Really trying to be agile towards Calico from those uh, very devastating hits from the aerials. Wrong direction for the forward smash. Does a jab. Okay. Off smash. Yeah, no, Agent 810 seems to be uh, yeah, putting it. up a pretty good. Fo wow! Another elimination oh, by Agent 810. Oh. And he leads now. Okay. Let's see. All right. Calico trying to exit that stock with the back air. It does not kill. These are some pretty strong aerials, even though they do not finish the stock quite yet. Oh. Tries to yeah. go for the aerial, but just the, the yeah. game just forbids. Yep. Good dodge uh, by uh, Agent 810 there, though. Oh, nice snipe by it. Oh, nope, well. that did it. Down there smash we go. Closed off. Is that like frame five down smash? That's pretty quick right there. Okay. I think Calico has some something left in him to... Oh, no, that killed. Wow. wow. That actually eliminated. Holy cow. 
uh, stronger than uh, Mario's up B. Wow. Interestingly enough, uh, that uh, that attack actually caused an elimination. Calico losing the match in an upset there. But now it's time for Agent 810 to stay on stage and wait for a new challenger to, uh, to enter the arena for the next matchup. So here we go. Let's see who it's going to be. This will also be our last match of the arena. Yeah, it looks like Tyler Gamer will be stepping into the ring now. And it's going to be, uh, wow, two... Uh, Two antagonists from the Metroid series going up against each other here in this fight. It's going to be Dark Samus versus Tyler Gamers Ridley. All right. Let's see if uh, somebody ready to... Uh oh. I think somebody... Ah, uh, they dropped the controller or something. Oh, shoot. That's okay. not good. All right. Well, we'll move on. Go. All right. In the meantime, right. let's Hopefully. go ahead and uh, welcome Cyber8, Mercenary Knight, Brendan P., Welcome to the live stream, guys. Good to see you in the live chat there. Hope you guys are doing well. Alright, so Ezlo and DJ, uh, since Sparkadillo is now uh, in the middle of a match right now, I know you guys haven't had an opportunity to talk yet, so uh, why don't you guys go ahead and uh, uh, say hello. Hello. I've already, I've already did my introductions, but yeah, what's up, everybody? Sounds like you're eating something there, brother. I am. <laughs> Happy <laughs> nice. late dinner. Gotcha. So, uh, Zach Carmen thinks that uh, Keanu Reeves will play as a great Shadow the Hedgehog for the uh, Sonic 3 movie. I think he will as well there, Zach. I'm watching a premiere movie. Yep. Austin uh, says, well, at least I found an official tournament, uh, even though it's just an arena. Yeah, no worries there, Austin. Are you talking about tonight's live stream? All right, Zach Carmen says, Samus must be the only broken fighter out of the Smash originals. Just guessing. Yeah, he is. Don't All you right. mean Spamus? <laughs> yeah, Spamus. Yep, that's right, Austin. Thank you, buddy. Ozmotion says, Zach Pikachu is the best in the of the OGs in Ultimate. Gotcha there, Oz. Yeah, it happens there, uh, Commander Calico. But you uh, put up a really good fight in that last matchup, buddy. It was literally a pocket character versus a main. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. And to the 16 of you that are watching right now, if you guys haven't already voted in our poll tonight, we have a poll in the live chat right now. We want to know, is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate the greatest of all time? Cast your votes now and let us know. Zach Harmon says, I wonder when the official trailer for Sonic 3 will release. That's a that's actually a very good question. We'll probably uh we'll probably see it this summer. What do you think there, Eslo? Let's say uh, again. Oh no, I was just wondering, uh do you think they'll uh, do the uh, new Sonic 3 uh, trailer uh this summer? I think they will. Uh probably. Yeah. Well, there we go. Sparkadillo eliminating Agent 810 in that match. So now Sparkadillo will uh, move on to the next round. Actually, that was that was match number seven, wasn't it? Indeed it was. Oh, okay. So we'll have to do a lobby reset then. All right, guys. Stand by for the lobby reset. All right, as you guys are aware, we do lobby resets every seven matches, and the reason for that is to allow new people who have not played to join and participate in the online matches. So, guys, if you have not played in a match yet tonight, this arena is for you. Join this arena, guys. It is public. I'll give you guys the arena ID here shortly. The arena ID is 4C00W. That is the arena ID. Once again, the arena ID is 4C00W. Enter in the arena ID now so that you guys can enter the arena and uh, participate in the online matches. So, so far we have Nicholas Von Kolb and Mini Racer Fan. Let's see if we can get some more people in here first before we start any matches. Once again, guys, if you have not played in any matches yet tonight, this is your opportunity to join. 
We're opening up the lobby for anybody who wants to play. I mean, I could say the only time that you ever do more than seven there, James, before you reset is if somebody has one, two near the end of the lobby. Guys, don't start the match That's yet. Totally don't start the match yet, guys. Guys, do not start the match yet. We got to wait. Ready? Guys, do not start the match. Oh, my goodness. We need new people to join first, okay? Uh, Austin, you already played in the previous arena. You'll have to wait. Yes, guys. Please wait until he says otherwise. Yeah, we're trying to give new people an opportunity to join first. Give it 20 more seconds. All right. Cyber 8, welcome. And you're getting raided. Oh, wow, we're getting a raid? I need raid. Oh, hello, raiders. Welcome to the stream. We're getting a raid from Lightning Farron's YouTube channel. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to Lightning Farron and her raiders. Let's say hello to PDB Ferox, Nathan Byberg. Welcome, friends. Good to see you guys. We also have Squid. Squid joining us in the uh, in the live stream. Nintendo Player 307, Light Gazer, Akari Don 6. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining us on that lightning raid. And there she is. The queen of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Lightning Farron, joining us in the live chat. Welcome, Lightning Farron. Good to see you, and thank you so much for rating our channel. Tedrick85 also joining. Welcome, guys. If one of my moderators could please post a link to Lightning Farron's YouTube channel in the live chat. Guys, please be sure to check out Lightning Farron. We know her as Claire. She's an awesome, awesome video game content creator. She does a lot of video game live streams here on the YouTube platform, so please be sure to check her out and show her some support. I see Renee W. joining us as well. Welcome back, Renee W. Hello and welcome. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. DJ Agent 810, Mercenary Knight. Mod shout out. Thank you, guys. All right, guys. We're going to open up the arena to anybody and everybody. And Mini Racer and Nicholas Von Kolb, you guys can start your match. Oh, I can't spectate. That's... All right. All right, here we go. We've got Mini Racer fan playing as Captain Falcon and Nicholas Von Cole playing as Piranha Plant. Mini Racer fan down. Nicholas Von Cole now leads with three stock on board. Mini Racer fan in trouble. He's down to two stock here. Four minutes, 40 seconds remaining in the match. A pretty misfortunate uh, first stock. All right, Mini Racer fan in real trouble here. He's down to his last stock. Right, this match will probably close out pretty quick, quickly since the amount of consistent down bees Nicholas Von Kolb is landing. Sam Schofield, welcome to the stream, man. How's it going? Thank you for joining us. Akari Don6 ask if I'm uh, family friendly or not. Um, technically, I am. Every now and then uh, we slip up, but, you know, yeah. We're definitely not for kids. I can tell you that for sure. Well, let's just say he's friendly, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm friendly. <laughs> But that does not necessarily mean family friendly. Well, no surprise there. Nicholas Von Kolb wins the match. We currently have one opening spot in the lobby. All right, there is an opening in the lobby, guys. Once again, the arena ID is 4C00W. That is the public arena ID. There is no password required, no friend code required. Anybody can join, guys. 
So go ahead and join in. Actually, it looks like the lobby just filled up. Gumbo Boy just joined us. Nice. Excellent. All right, here we go. Okay, Next matchup. I kind of need to be in the lobbies in order to commentate directly oh, on my screen. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Just explain to Agent A10. All right, here we go. All right. Captain Another Falcon Captain Falcon. Falcon. Yeah. I think this is probably a, a uh, slightly more experienced Captain Falcon. Even though, wow, Nicholas is just landing these down. These. I don't think uh, the other uh, people against him really know how to manage against a very long range and tangible mood. All right. Oh, the knee of justice strikes again. There we go. Okay, let's see. Patui lands again. Let's see. And the Patui lands another time. Yeah, those Patuis are, are murder, man. Yeah. Spike balls to the face. Ice up B. God, Nicholas Vonkold is decimating this right now. Yeah. That's all he plays is uh, Piranha Plant, man. Kind of respectable since it's a low tier character. Yeah. All right. Let's see if uh. <clears throat> Man, I need some water. Yeah. Mm. Uh, let's see whatever that name means. Uh, Captain Falcon can do. Okay. We go for another knee justice. Goes to Captain. Uh, Captain. Falcon kick. Uh, it does. All right, Nicholas Von Cole recovering. As a forward a dash attack. There we Those go. Kills. In the way of able to uh, cause an elimination there, Nicholas Von Cole now down to two. Okay, Von Cole pretty much spacing out pretty well, almost breaking shield raw out of the down B. Was it again? Tui misses dash attack, down throw, neutral air. Side B, up air. Nice. Pretty nice combo with that, though. Uh, down smash kills surprisingly qu uh, quick. Not that percentage. All right, Akari Don6, have a great night. Thanks for dropping by. We'll see you around. Thank you for coming in on the lightning raid. Okay. Huh. All right, uh, Nichols Von Cole pulling on to 15%. Uh, Captain Falcon is not exactly doing well against uh, Spirana Plants with the Patuis and the Downbees. They're pretty, uh, pretty coordinated, too. Even with the air dodges, it's pretty much worthless. And with the forward smash, it ends the battle. Yep, yeah, looks like Nicholas Von Cole won another match. That's two Captain Falcons down. So, Lightning Farron, what were you live streaming tonight? I'm just curious. Oh, she was doing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe because I ended up raiding her. Oh, nice. Very good, very good. Uh, playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Nice. Very good, very good. Uh, can you start the match as soon as possible before uh, people rejoin? It usually... Uh, re never mind. It's all right. Uh, less people expecting the match equals uh, more... Less end lag, basically. All right. Cyber 8 going at Sonic the Hedgehog. I faced against the Sonic the Hedgehog before. Yeah. Pretty nice matchup. Actually, this is pretty much the impossible matchup for Piranha Plant. Yep. Well, let's see how Cyber 8 manages against uh, Nicholas Von Kolb here. Right. Even starting it off. Down B beats Spin Dash. Down B beats Forward Air. Let's see who else it beats. The Tui beats Spin Dash. Ah, jeez. Uh, Nicholas Von Kolb really uh, putting the damage in the uh, twoies, and they're just falling straight into the hitbox. It's the hitboxes. It's really uh, struggling for Cyber 8 against this. Gets the jab lock. 
and then the Patui. Tries to go for the up smash, but misses. Yeah. Tangibility. Okay, spin dash, they clash, both resulting in damage. Let's see if Cyber 8 can make sense out of that damage. Right. Ah, uh, another down B. That's more damage. It's been, I mean, hard shot. Yeah, Cyber Lance. 8, you gotta use that shield, buddy. Yeah. That's not looking good. I think it's the end lag that's just resulting, uh, controller lag that's resulting in these uh, eliminations. It's uh, hard to uh, contest with such a difficulty to get the moves out when they put it many milliseconds uh, ago. Right. Come on. Right. Get at least one stock. Forest Man misses. Batui uh, clashes with the little spring thing. Oh, Downby gets away from the forward smash. I thought uh, Cyber was going to win that one, too. Oh, man. Another down smash. Yeah, now uh, Cyber is playing it safe. Trying to play it safe. Oh. Nice movement there from after the Patui. Yeah, I think Cyber really wants to uh, cause an elimination here. Oh, yep, he succeeded. Nicely oh, done. There he goes. Oh, shoot. Man, that Patui's brutal. Yeah, pretty. If you know how to use it right. Oh, yeah. man, the intangibility just seems overpowered towards uh, Cyber 8. It just can be really contested with. Okay. I don't think it'll, it won't be long until separate will get eliminated. It's not looking good. Yeah. Spin dash. Oh, evades the Tui. Oh. Yeah, oh, there it is. Eliminated. Eight kills. Hey, welcome back, Sadie Gear Mom. Ladies yeah, and gentlemen. What's up, Sadie? Ladies and gentlemen, please Hello, give a warm welcome to Sadie Gamer Mom. She's joining us in the live chat there. If you guys don't know who she is, she's another YouTube gaming content creator and live streamer here on the YouTube platform. So please be sure to check her out and show her some support. All right, Nicholas Von Kolb, that was your fourth winning streak. Was your three winning streak, and you returned back to the line. All right, Lightning Farron, thank you again so much for rating the channel, and uh, we certainly hope we uh, we see you again here in the very near future. Have a wonderful night and uh, and take care. Thank you, Lightning Farron. Arch Nemesis Game & Watch. Yep. See you later, Claire. Don't worry, Jamie. You'll get a chance to join here shortly. We'll uh, reset the lobby. We'll do Arena 3 here shortly. Hey, Chaz. Welcome back. Good to see you, friend. United Kingdom is here as well. Welcome, United Kingdom. Well, since we've got a reprieve in, uh, you know, Sparkadillo's commentary, uh, Ezlo and DJ, would you guys like to share anything right now? Any thoughts? What was it again? <laughs> he was asking. Well, well, yeah, Sparkadillo's in the middle of a match. I didn't know if you guys wanted to share any thoughts or anything that's on your mind. I'm sorry, I was just into the show. I'm watching. Oh, the watch of the matchup. That's fine. Sadie Gamer Mom, hello, welcome. Oh, she says, "Hey, how are you doing, James? Oh, I'm doing great. Thank you for asking." Agent 8 Ted says he's going to play some CG, CTGP7. Really? What is that? Do you know what that is, uh, Ezlo? CTGP7? I'm not familiar with that. Mm. I have no clue. 
Yep. Giga Gamer, welcome to the stream. He says he wants to talk to Joe. Uh, Corrupted Redemption? You talking about Corrupted Redemption there, Giga Gamer? He's working right now. Oh, he is at work. Oh, it's modded Mario Kart 7. Really? I did not know that. They already modded Mario Kart 7? Sadie, how was your uh, how was your day today? How how did uh, the theme parks go? Oh, Mario Kart 7 custom tracks. That's what it is. Thank you, Cyber. Oh, it's been a thing, apparently. Really? It's been around for a while? Yeah, I had no idea. <laughs> Jamie says she's able to play the Switch in dock mode instead of handheld mode now. Nice. Hey, Janet Tune says custom tracks and more characters added to the roster. Nice. Oh, Sadie says she took the day off from the parks today. Oh, nice. Oh, so you just uh, did some uh, rest and relaxation. Nothing wrong with that. CTGP, oh, CTGP 7 is greater than Mario Kart 7, according to Cyber 8. Gotcha, Cyber 8. Well, I imagine uh, if you have more characters and customized uh, tracks, then yeah, that, that makes sense. Makes sense. Oh, Sadie says she's going to be going to Epcot tomorrow. Nice. All right, let's get an update on the match right now. Coming down to one minute remaining in the matchup. Goldbrooks and Sparkadillo down to one stock each. Oh, and Sparkadillo wins the match, eliminating Goldbrooks. So now Sparkadillo will remain on stage and wait for the next challenger. All right, here we go. Trying to get used to the end lag. Hmm. All right, so it looks like Osmotion will be stepping into the arena for the next one. Agent Ooh, 810 okay. says, nice edge guard there, Spark. On the on the neutral bees. Yep. United Kingdom says, I may not be existing in your streams. We see your chats there, uh, United Kingdom. All right, here we go. Gumble Boy versus Sparkadillo. It's the Meta Knight Samus matchup. All right, let's see who comes out on top. Yeah, more like the Meta Knight Spamus matchup. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that Jolie Wobbert's on a box of hair color now? Wait, wait, one more time. Hmm. Julia Robert is on a box of. Um, hair color now. Ah, I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't really pay attention to things like that. Sorry. Hmm. They showed us from us about five times already. Gotcha. Hey DJ, could you uh, could you direct message me your um, your channel link? I need to add you to my approved users list. Uh, uh, on YouTube? On YouTube, yeah. I need you to direct message me, please. Your uh, your I'm channel, cool. so I can add you to the approved users list. I keep yeah, forgetting sir. to do this, and I I just realized I need to get that done. Um, hmm. I already got Ezlo and Sadie on it. All 
Oh, Jamie says she won't be playing as much uh, right now since she's uh, not fully awake. Hey, no worries there, Jamie. Zach Carmen says, imagine a live-action Metroid movie. We were talking about that the other night during the Super Metroid stream there, Zach Carmen. It'd be nice if they do a live-action movie, but, uh, yeah. Who would you guys think would play as uh, Samus Aran? Like, who would be the main character? United Kingdom says, maybe tomorrow I will change my name. Okay. Sam. All right, thank you, sir. You're welcome, sir. Oh, that's the reason why I couldn't find you. You have an underscore. <laughs> uh. What the heck? something wrong nah just they're just making it difficult for me to find you what the heck man Did you put okay, maybe DJ if I try yeah that's what I did copy and paste I mean, another way you could find him if he's if he actually types something in your chat, you could actually go into the uh, you know, like right clicking on the uh, mouse or whatever, and it'll actually pop up your um, yeah, DJ, type in the chat there that way. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Gumbo Boy won against Sparkadilla. I can't believe I missed that. I was so focused on trying to do this. Wow. Holy cow. Yeah, that's what I tried doing there. Uh, yeah, see, they don't... Yeah, they only give you the option to replace pin message, report, remove, put user in timeout, hide user in this channel, remove as standard moderator. But I don't want to remove as standard mo moderator. I want to add approved user. All right, anyway, it's time for Gumbo Boy and Mini Racer for this next matchup. And Sparkadilla says the controller lag is so aggravating. Oh, sorry to hear that, buddy. Yeah, I guess. Uh, no, I'm, maybe I'm being a little bit too overdramatic. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if well, I put the entire in channel link. Yeah, let me try. No, that. I no, I see the go to channel on my end, James. Go to channel. Yeah. No, I'm talking about from yeah, the YouTube course. Studio dashboard. On the live That's dashboard, I'm on the live YouTube dashboard. Studio dashboard as well. Well, I'm just, I'm just not cool, I guess. I'm not part of the Golden Children tribe, apparently. Okay, I'll be right back with some water. Yep, no problem. All right, so let me try it on here. I sent you a DM, James. Channel activity. And then ellipse. Yay. Nothing. Mm. Again, I sent you a DM on Discord. Gotcha. All right, let me try that. It should work, right? Ready? Ah, there it goes. It worked. Nice. Thank you. Wow, why do they make it such a pain in the butt? <laughs> All right, so now I got to add Joe.
All right, I gotta add Sparkadillo. All right, so in a wave, I went with uh, Joker this time around to challenge Gumbo Boy. Should be interesting. Now, why can't I find... Oh, that's why. In case you guys are wondering, I'm trying to get it to where I have uh, um, all moderators as approved users on the uh, on the channel as well. That that's understandable. I return with some pineapple pizza and a Red Bull. Pineapple pizza and a Red Bull. Very interesting. All right, so I. I believe this is our last match of the arena. Yep. Brendan B, are you there, buddy? I need to uh, try and get you in uh, um, for uh, approved user status on my channel. All right. Osmotion winning the match against Nueva there. Nicely done. And Mercenary Knight, if you're there, buddy, uh, there he is. All right, good. He showed up, too. Awesome. So this will be quick and easy. Whoops. Holy cow. Did you guys know that Mercenary Knight uh, is almost to 100 subscribers on his channel? Nice. All right, who am I missing from the approved users list? Let's see. All right, I need to add Brendan P, uh, Ace Games. All right, I already added Agent 810. Where's Ace Games? Is he here? Has anybody you've seen Ace added. Games? You want to say you've already added DJ? Yep, DJ's been added. Are we add like moderators to something? Did I, did I yeah, something? I'm trying to add the moderators to my approved users list on YouTube. Gotcha. They got me on there. Yep. If we look up Ace Game on um, Discord, he might have a YouTube link to his account. Yeah. All right. Shut down over the arena. All right, time to create a new arena, guys. All right, guys, here's your arena ID 4TJX3. That is the arena ID. Uh, first come, first serve. Anybody can join. Now I'm back to normal. All right, sounds good. All right, I'm not going to be. I was in the night movie yeah. I was watching. Hey, Shortfish, welcome, buddy. <clears throat> It was a right, crazy movie. Not... <laughs> okay. Oh, I've already seen that one. It's this. By the right. way, guys, I thank you so much for making us the number one Super Smash Brothers Ultimate live stream here in the West on YouTube. Thank you guys very, very much. We appreciate that. Excuse me. I mean, there's other uh, uh, live streams that are probably have smash related yeah well yeah smash related but they're they've got like hundreds of viewers but that's because they're in japan <laughs> mm. i think hbox is uh streaming earlier yeah there are some people streaming splatoon because of this flat test today oh yeah yeah that's fine that's fine i'm happy for him mm -hmm. movie's so fun. yeah i really hope that uh and I, I know we had Splatoon 3 fans in our community, but uh, we raided people like Vic Villain, and, you know, we, we collaborated with other, you know, Splatoon streamers, Pegasus Angel, mm -hmm. um, Nicholas, um, 
uh, Smaden, SM uh Hesitated Cobra. Uh, I mean, there's a whole bunch of Splatubers out there that everybody else can check out. And, you know, if, if anybody wants to, uh, you know, go and participate in Splatfest events, that's perfectly fine. Mm. Yeah. yeah. We just won't be doing that here on this channel. Mm -hmm. well, how was your day today, James? That was good. It was good. We had a good day today. Um... Did some shopping. Um, nice, things. Nice. Yep. Checked out a uh, a new ice cream shop today with the kiddo. Aw. My uh, cool. my nephew actually works there. So, oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, so you got a little discount, huh? <laughs> no, no, no. We paid full price for everything, man. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Yep. No yeah. shortcuts. <clears throat> Oh, uh, Osmotion asks, James, will you stop streaming Smash after we run out of character thumbnails? Absolutely not, Osmotion. We will we'll continue. Reuse them. We won't. We won't. Make uh, some actually, wrong. there's there's a uh, no. Actually, technically, there's uh, there's there's costume character change or there's character costume changes as well. So oh, we could that, do... that'll be so long too. I know. It, yeah. Yeah. Technically, I'm probably resources. I probably should have done that at the very beginning when Smash Brothers first came out. You know what I mean? Yeah. We probably would have gone through all of them already. Right. Who am I kidding? No, we would not. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, there's not, enough, there's not enough Saturdays yeah. since the game launched. <laughs> if you do, uh, like, the Meta Knight one again, do the Brawl Sprite of Meta Knight with the uh, Alt 5. Oh, yeah? It'll, it'll look good. Right. Well, the Grape Ape wins. Okay. Yeah, you can't really do Meta Knight in these arenas since the you need really good coordination in yeah. order to do that. But with such controller lag, it's pretty difficult. But if you have DK, that's not a problem. Nice. Oh, there's Agent. Is that who you're looking for? Oh, no, I was Ace actually Games. looking for uh, Ace Games. Did Agent 810 is already on the approved list. And you put Ace Games and Brendan P in the uh, approved list. Oh, Brendan P was here earlier. He was. Um... Uh, he probably had to take off, which is fine. Which is fine. I know he's busy, so. Uh, I think I like uh, Ace Games sometimes pops up in the Mario. I mean, in the Paper Mario streams, like a uh, free card, I think too. Hmm. Possibly. Um, United Kingdom said he'll see you tomorrow. All right, United Kingdom, have a good day. Take care, and we'll see you around, buddy. So tomorrow is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Indeed. All right, four minutes, 30 seconds on the clock. Uh, Donkey Kong versus Sonic. Okay. Sonic really uh, trying to keep distance and racking up damage while uh, DK can't, can't really act within this match. Oh, for the charge shot, too. And dash attacks is really zoning out. Oh, DK shields. Goes in down, smashes parries. Tries to go for the edge guard with the back airs. Just not really successful. The cool thing about iPhones, if you send a message to somebody and you make an error, you can actually ed your messages. Never do that? Or you can actually unsend your message to. Oh, nice. Text messages. Hey Ace Games, yeah. welcome buddy. Glad you could make it. Ace Games is here. Yep. There you go, James. Okay. Nice. Hong Kong taking the first stock. Let's see if it. Do you have corrupted uh, redemption too, James? No, not yet. Hmm. Yeah, but unfortunately, Corrupted Joe is actually at work. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, no he's, he's on live. He's on right now on Discord. Oh, you know what? I already added him to the uh, approved list, so he's good. Hmm. I'm going to start okay. adding streamers uh, to that list, too. Um, the known streamers. Like Lang Farron? Yeah. Snapclick, Cat, um, Azalea. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah all, all, the, uh, all the streamers. Ashlyn Pierce. You know, I, I haven't seen her come by. Uh, she's busy, so it's fine. Yeah, she's been doing all Charting their own path, yeah. That's fine. No worries. Correcting, too. 
as Azalea, she is streaming Minecraft Bedrock right now on Twitch. Nice. I, I watch an other streamer too on Twitch. Her her name is Twig. Twigbot. He's cool. He plays the uh, Aro games. Yeah. And someone gifted me a um it actually was her that gifted me a um membership. So I mean if you're talking about over on Twitch it'll be a subscription, but yeah. Yeah, she she um gave me a free subscription. I didn't I was like surprised, I was like, whoa, I got a I got a free subscription. By oh yeah, somebody else did it, not her. But um it was pretty cool. Alright, cam Twitch dogs does, on there. Do what now? I thought you can gift um subscribers too. But it's not like you can like say, hey, I want to gift that person that subscription. Oh, TikTok exactly. automatically just to whoever randomly. Mm -hmm. You don't have an option to do that. Like <laughs> pick a person. All right, but like um TikTok has team. So you can join the team if you just donate one coin and you're on the team, like Team Super Live Gaming or Team Azalea, stuff like that. Three, two, one, go! Huh? Okay. His own merch. Okay. It's hot, hot. I he went quiet. It always gets quiet. <laughs> yeah, but it's we're fine. All yeah, so, we're also watching Grapefruit Kong do his thing right here, too. Yep. Nice. <laughs> so, my friend Justin's on this ship. He won't be back until well, the 28th, and he's going to be going on another ship in November, mm -hmm. which is another cruise, and he's going to be on the Icon of the Sea, which is the biggest one. I'm like, wow, man. You, you've which got port is it selling out of? Port of Jacksonville? Um, He said it's going to be coming out of... um. Miami, so he's got to fly down to Miami to get oh, on. Oh man, <laughs> Miami! Oh, well, because that's, that's where a drive, it docked, it bro. That's where it docked. It, it docked it in Miami. Yeah. I have to go to my door because my grandma's a late sleeper. I gotta respect the elders here. <laughs> So he's on keep me updated. I was like, you don't have to keep me updated. Oh, Goldling Gamer said hello, James. How is everyone? Hey, Nate. What's going yeah. on? How you doing tonight, buddy? Glad to have you on the show. What's up, Goldling? Do we have him too? Not yet. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty much done. I'm just going to talk to you guys now. Okay, dope. Also, guys, thank you for 20 likes on the live stream. As you come in, don't forget to hit that like button. Remember to likes and comments. You leave your help our channel grow. As Sadie always says, it's free. Yeah. Free, 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 free. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our vacation is going really well. But if you do want to become a, a member, it's only 99 cents. Yeah, and I usually just say a get... dollar. <laughs> yeah. Because it's and you get easier. exclusive emotes too yeah, it's just easier to say a dollar mm -hmm. you even get the f button that was specially made by corrupted redemption yep. one of our moderators well it looks like the great ape wins once again shocker <laughs> not really uh -oh. <laughs> all right Nate we're gonna skip all that stuff and just go right into the next match it's coming in handy all right well you're done you got your three win streak so now it's time Indeed. for Nuke and Agent 810.
We have quite a fun match to commentate. Familiar matchup. Glad I couldn't fight Nuke. That's all right. Yeah. I'm back with Darpic too. Oh, did he really? Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Uh, Cyberate is going to eat uranium again, which is the one-winged Kong. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so we're over at uh, where are these? The this first is the Mario, Mario Brothers. Yeah, the Mario Brothers uh, stage. Oh, Netflix released a new game. Um, it's called Before Your Eyes. Oh, really? So, what you have to do is you have to interact with the games with your eye blinking. Oh, so really? If you blink I at the same time that it pops up on the screen, you have to line up the um, dot to where the eyeball is and blink, and it will actually detect your eye blinking. Oh, so wow. you play the keyboard with good. your eye, with your blinking. You have to play the keyboard and everything. It's pretty crazy. I was playing it earlier, and I was like, this is an interesting game. Yeah. But you have to let it to... Um, you have to calibrate your um, eye blinking movement. Yeah. To allow it to get your movement of your eyes. But let Reminds me tell me you, of those mm -hmm. it's one horror games that people would make that the the entity can actually hear what you're saying with the mic. Yeah, but you can't. You, you don't have to do it with the eye the eye blinking. But it's more fun <clears> when you do it with the eye blinking because it's more um more fun. Yep. yep, and meanwhile, Cyber8 has been a member of the channel for basically 12 months now there, James. Yep, G -G. thank you, Cyber8. Appreciate that, buddy. Oh, Jamie Kleinkloff. How are you? Awesome. Okay. And by wow. the way, guys, yep. if you're interested in becoming a member of my channel, you can join for as little as a dollar a month, just so you guys know. Yeah, and you get some special um, emotes, too. Some amigos. Mm -hmm. Gamer one says uh, he appreciates you for showing up for his uh, Smash Brothers stream there, uh, Spark. And James, who does or, the who's... making of your emotes? Oh, uh, Art Fox. Uh, she she did the uh, she did the emotes, or at least the if emotes can... with my face on it. The other emotes. If you are can from reach out Nintendo. to get her to get you one with a cake holding a cake, what? Holding like you holding up a cake. You know, for people's birthday or something, or you oh, wearing you a so? birthday hat? Nah, you know I already have my I already have my party favor uh, emoji. But you say party hat. cakes in there, you silly goose. <laughs> like... I should have had a cake in it. No, no, I wanted to keep no, it not easy. Like a, not like a cake, but yeah, I see the party hat. I see it. And there's always new a new room to add. I might have to make me a yeah. Emote. All the emoji slots are taken, actually. I might have oh, to really? make it okay. Yeah, you have to get more members on your channel in order to mm -hmm. uh, unlock additional Wait, emoji slots. You don't show it no more. I don't show it anymore. That's There's okay. no need to, yeah. yeah. Well, let me know when we get that roll again. I want to make yep. an emote. Hey, you know where to get your art emotes. <laughs> Jamie says she wants a ditto match. Oh. oh, so will it be Dark Pit versus Dark Pit? Let's Dark see. Pit? I believe it will be. It just might be. It oh, most certainly oh, is. Okay. There we go. Wow. Atro? Ace Games says, K, okay, but I'm broke. Hey, don't worry about it, Ace Games. That's. <laughs> it's completely voluntary, man. I, yeah, don't I'm worry. Broke, you don't I have to spend a dollar and six cents. Yeah. I do what I can to support the channel. Oh, nice. Okay. F-Zero. I start my job soon. I'm excited. Nice, man. Yeah, you were oh, telling man. me about that. Yeah, I'm going to be surprised if I see James pop up and say, Hey, I'm here to get a Whopper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I think I he might stop by Bubba Q's again. Oh, I know you like that place. That brisket you? was awesome, man. And those fries. I don't know. I could actually love brisket. Yeah. I was going to um, say, I don't know. I could potentially see James actually doing that. Yeah. <laughs> dude, face, dude face, she face, says, face we've got hilarious. fried Oreos. And I'm like, did you say fried Oreos? <laughs> I haven't had Your those face? in forever. Did you like some fried Oreos? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, DJ. You were going to say something. Your face expression, when she said it, you had to say, Go back again, what you just said. You just, <laughs> just, 
And she got these two guys get yeah. fried Oreos. And you like, what? You have yeah. fried Oreos? So James Bald is like 10. Let's yep. Go. Yep. I, I, I should have went with the 12. I'm going to be honest with you. I should have went with the 12. Like she said, we, well, do it in, we, do it in, we do it in packs of 5 or packs of 12. I'm like, uh, two packs ten, of 5, ten. please. I <laughs> should have got two. Should have got 12. <laughs> well, at least the white got oh. that. Yeah. Yep. He's just like, should have got a dozen close. for the road. Yeah, I know, man. Hey, Agent Ain or Ancient One, welcome to the stream. Ancient One joining us in the live chat. He says, hello, Super Live Gaming and everyone. Hey, welcome, buddy. Good to see you. Yo, what's up, Ginny? Right. Gotta make this bit interesting. If Jamie wins, I'll gift a membership. Hmm? If Jamie wins, uh, you'll gift a membership? I will. Oh, we got a 20 mm -hmm. like height. Hey, thank you for the likes, guys. Appreciate that. 27 of you watching the show right now tonight. Thank you guys so much for being here. We know there's a lot of places you guys can go. You guys are choosing to hang out with us tonight, and we think that's awesome. So thank you, guys. Agent 1 is here. Hello, Agent. Oh, as well as more Ace agents Ace here, too. There you go, James. Yep. Their ears must have been ringing. Mm -hmm. huh. <laughs> Got a busy day to have tomorrow. Uh, do you guys think that Dark Pit will win? I got Church. Yeah, I think morning. Dark Pit's gonna win. I my money's on Dark Pit. Yeah, uh, I'm thinking of Dark Pit. Man, Dark Pit all about to win. Yeah, Agent said. Yeah, I think Dark oh. Pit's gonna win. <clears throat> I gotta go to church tomorrow, and I volunteer there too. So yeah, I'm a staff for the church. Oh wow! No, but seriously, Sniping what's the difference well? between dark pit and regular pit? I don't know. I guess one's darker. Yes, it's lighter. just pit, but the moves are more edgier. I guess. Well, dark pit is gonna defeat dark pit, therefore making dark pit the winner over dark pit. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> if you really sure, think about it, dark pit will definitely win this match. I really think that, you know. Surprisingly, Dark Pit is holding their ground against Dark Pit, and both Dark Pit are at, start, at their last stock, and I think I think Dark Pit kind of has this in the bag, or Dark Pit will uh, <laughs> hold their ground, basically. But you know, Dark Pit, you know. Uh, yeah, Dark Pit, they better be careful. They're, uh, they're looking at high debt. Oh, <laughs> there's the elimination. And Dark Pit has been eliminated, and you followed up with Dark Pit has won the match. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I went to the pet store the other day, and they're trying to have me buy another guinea pig, and I'm like, no. Yeah, don't uh -huh. do it, man. You want another I'm guinea like, pig? I am yeah. not buying no more guinea pigs. Judging by the number of barking animals you had in your household, I'm like, eh, I maybe, know, maybe you have enough pets, brother. They to say hello to you. <laughs> I know, man. I got to see Riley. Welcome to the collection. Yeah. Yeah. Even though he was like, "Don't, don't, don't you, don't, don't, don't you try to get me out of my dad's hands." <laughs> okay, this will be the last match for Nuke going against Mini Racer Fan. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, the uh, if he yeah, wins this match, that'll little, be the end of a three win streak. Yep. Versus a little mm. Mac. Mm-hmm. I'll enjoy my pizza while watching this. What pineapple? <laughs> Have you had a pizza with anchovies? Oh, that's the best. Oh, disgusting. <laughs> I think pineapple disgusting. <laughs> okay, how about you? How about you eat some real toppings? How about that? I've had. I had a honey hot honey magnifico. That was alright. Okay. But Please. um, they got rid of it. But I'm not. What type of no food? Food. Go ahead. What type? Yeah. What type of food do you guys think should not be in a buffet? What type of food should not be in a buffet? Hmm. Country-wise. Country-wise? Country Dear food? Meat? Like like traditional, you know, like Japanese, Chinese, American. Okay, so the buffets that I'm normally used to seeing are the ones either Chinese buffet or Golden Corral. I oh. have not been to any other kind of buffet in my life. Actually, no, I take that back. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut used to do buffets. They used they to do Pizza Hut buffets. Yeah, they would put the different like types of pizzas. Actually, 
Now that now I think about it, CC's. Do you guys have a CC's pizza in your area? No, I don't. I don't CC's think pizza. So. They do. They offer pizza buffet. They actually shut it down. Oh, that sucks. Actually, you know what? Now, yeah. now, now, now that I mentioned the reason, it, I, I want to. I want to find out where it's at. COVID. Where's it at? Where's we the nearest CC's pizza? Here. The nearest CC's pizza is on. Up there it Your is on Semeron Boulevard, same oh. same drag where uh, Orlando International Airport is. Nice. Oh, you know where you're going for lunch one day. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Not this weekend though. That, yeah. That's that's going to be a family trip sort of deal. Did you, you know? Did you know they have take a trip to IKEA and, and then and then go to CC's? Huh? Macaroni and cheese pizza. That's Little Caesars pizza. I mean, CC's. Pizza. I've never that's had it. Yeah. And... That doesn't sound that bad. Well. My Where wife wants to go part. to CC's now. She heard me talking about it. <laughs> oh, you want to go to that? <laughs> yeah. What I think that should not be like buffet food oh, should yeah. be Chinese food. Is oh, good. Do you don't James think Chinese he... food should be buffet? You think it shouldn't? Yeah. I don't think it should. It should. Did, I don't she think say, it should. did she say she wanted oh. to go tomorrow to CC's Pizza? And that's what she said. <laughs> Well, yeah. all right, wife, another victory right? for Nuke, and Nuke will move back to the end of the line because he won three matches. Did so you say? And the wife I said Nuke won three matches, so he has to move back to the end of the line. Um, Chucky My reasoning pizza. behind that basically is that, like, whenever you eat Chinese food after you're done, you're either uh -oh. full or starving. Really? Or making, like, um, ace games oh, I can't food. believe I ate that much food. Oh, they got egg rolls. Yeah. So. No. Ooh, yeah. egg rolls are good. I like. Then you just come back food. again and again. Yeah, rolls are good too. Hey Hamilton, welcome to the stream. I believe it's pronounced yeah, Dak. Dak Hamilton, welcome, buddy. He says, "Yo, what's up? How's your day going today?" Oh, it's going great, man. Thanks for asking. Appreciate that, buddy. Has anybody had imp imp um? I think it's empanadas or something. Yeah, like empanadas. That. Yeah, uh -huh. apple empanadas. Oh, yeah, I've really had good. them. They also have uh, beef uh, beef empanadas as well. I mean, empanadas. You can pretty much put anything you want in it. Fruit empanadas, mm -hmm. meat empanadas. Yeah, delicious. Dake. That's what they are. Dakey, I guess. Hamilton said, "Hello, how was your day today?" That was good. Thanks yeah, we had a good day. So uh, we've got 50 votes on our uh, Is Smash Brothers Ultimate the Greatest of All Time? 86% voting yes, 14% voting no. So it's an overwhelming majority for yes. I gave it a um, tie because I was like... I think the person, I think the people that said no were probably like uh, Brawl or Melee fans. I used to have Super Smash Bros, but I got rid of it. I sold it. The one for the Ultimate Nintendo 64? Or, uh, no, for the um, Nintendo Switch, I sold it. Oh, you sold uh, you sold Ultimate, gotcha. Yeah, and that's sold, okay. There's um, plenty of used copies that. of uh, <laughs> there's plenty of used copies of Smash Ultimate at the various GameStops in my area. I, I actually, <laughs> which. Too. I Which surprises me, you know, it's like, why? How are there actual physical copies of Super Smash Bros. Open still out, or Ultimate still out in the wild? Now that I think of it, I actually have, like, two copies of Smash Ultimate cartridges. Yeah. My, um, my I have the steel book. I have the one with the steel bookcase and the controller inside. I have that copy, and then I have the, uh, the regular box case. Yeah. And I have the digital download code. Which is on the, the OLED that, that I'm using right now. Yeah. I think I did sold Splatoon, if I'm not mistaken. I oh, Splatoon 2 or Splatoon 3? The new one that I just had, Splatoon. I just my eBay, because I don't know if I did or not. I think it's over for us. I had someone bought it for uh, Christmas, and I didn't realize Oh, did. Gumbo Boy taking out Cyber 8. Oh, Cyber 8 oh, eliminated. No. Let's see. <clears throat> see if I sold anything because I know I, it tells me where is it any of you guys play uh, Metroid oh. anybody here in the voice chat I Metro. play uh, Dread I played Fusion too yeah and Dread was a great game um, if you have uh, Nintendo Switch Online you should try out Super Metroid bro I did I completed the game actually oh, oh. nice 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 oh. what'd you think of it it was a pretty decent game uh, yeah. should we 
reset or continue. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's time for a reset. Sorry, guys. But you know what? That's why you guys are here to keep me on track to make sure that I do the resets like I'm supposed to. Of course. And Jamie says, always have a backup copy. Yeah. Right. I'm I mean, I'm a little excessive. This. I had to get the collector's edition for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate because it's the only one that comes Ooh. with the steel book case. And then there was the, uh, what is it, uh, the controller. It came with the controller. And then there was, uh, you know, the original case, original box art. And then I got the digital download code because I did not want to have to keep switching out cartridges, you know. So I, I got all the multiplayer games digitally downloaded, mm -hmm. and then the actual single-player games I got physical cartridges for now. I think Dark Jake 13 used to do that, too. I miss that, man. What's going on? I do, on? too, man. You've talked to him, right, uh, Ezlo? How's he been? Like I said, the last time I talked to him was when we talked about you know who that I'm not gonna bring up on screen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We can talk after that. After yeah, we'll talk. Yeah, we'll talk at the uh, we'll talk the usual meeting. Probably gonna stop yeah, calling yep. him after parties, and I'm just gonna be like, because we needed to do actual meetings sometimes. Yeah, we do. We do. We do. We need to catch up on things. We do. Have y'all ever heard of that? Um. Abby Mill toy that was called Bobby's World. <clears throat> oh, I remember a cartoon wagon. show called Bobby's World, yes. I got two of them off of eBay. And I, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I yeah. can. I actually, as I far as I remember, yeah, I was like, yeah, Howie yes, Mandel was, uh, he, he played the voice as Bobby and as, uh, as, uh, the father figure. The dad. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I have the one when he's on the tricycle, and I have the other one where he is in the wagon. Yeah, <clears throat> that wasn't a Nickelodeon was cartoon. Excited. That was a uh, that was a Fox cartoon. cartoon. Yeah, that was a Fox oh, yeah. cartoon. Yeah, he yeah. Used to come on every morning with the with the germophobe as they call him. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't have to renew it. Gogly Gamer one says, "Whenever I think of Howie Mandel, I think of the words deal or no deal. Indeed, that, or I think about America's Got No or America's oh. Got No Talent. America's Got Talent. Oh my god! <laughs> no oh my talent. god! Oh my god! I can't believe I said that. Wow! <laughs> All right, a okay. connection error has occurred. Sorry, guys. Not sure what's going oh, on. Rip. That's what. What happened? We got a connection Next error. Point. We got we got uh -oh. disconnected from spectate mode. That's okay. Uh -oh. Hey, at least it happened on somebody else's watch this time. Yeah, Jamie Clydecoff says, I remember the cartoon. It's either before or after Beetleborgs. Oh, my God. I can't believe you like, nice the name Beetleborgs, that sounds familiar, but I don't remember what it's about. And I want to say it has something to do with Beetles, oh, but I don't remember anything about it. It was it was basically about kids becoming super powered uh, billboards. Uh, I, I remember a little bit of it. Yeah, Mashing I remember. Uh, I remember this uh, show called Exo Squad. You remember that show? Yes. Yep. I know another one you probably wouldn't remember, James. It's called uh, VR Troopers. Nope, I remember that one. It was like. Uh, when they were, when they were doing, when, yeah, yeah, when uh, everybody was doing the whole Power Rangers kick, so you had like oh. Mast Rider, VR Troopers, Power Rangers. Yeah, that was during that time frame. Yeah, I remember that. They were experiencing, oh, yeah. they were experimenting with different types of, uh, like they were all shows originally like filmed in Japan, and then they westernized them for for Western audiences here in the states. So yep. the original oh, Power cool. Rangers was actually based off of a show called uh, uh, Zuyu Ranger. Um, yep. Hold on. Come on. Yeah, I mean, Kuryo it's, Sentai it's Zuyu Ranger. Yep, that show. What about but yeah, it's, it's actually kind of funny there that you bring that up, ancient one, because uh, and again, James might know this little nugget of information too, but 
the the original VR Trooper, uh, Ryan Steele, was actually supposed to be the White Ranger. I wasn't allowed to watch Power Rangers when I was a kid. Oh, uh, dude. I, uh... Full disclosure, man. When I, dude, when I watched Power Rangers back then, uh, who was the Pink Ranger? Um, what was her name? She was the she was the Pink Ranger. Uh, what was her name? I know her name. Again, Amy Jo Johnson. Amy Jo Johnson. There we go. Thank you, Eslo. Dude, um, I was crushing so hard on her. <laughs> wow. <dude. laughs> hey, hey. I mean, who okay. didn't, man? To each his own, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you actually own. also um, had a crush on the Yellow Ranger there, too, if you think about it, James. I, I, I can't say anything because I had a crush on I forgot on what her name Robert. was. Oh, she she tragically died in an accident. All right. So then, yeah. Um, yeah. I forgot her actual real name, but yeah. Um, was, uh, I, I think her last name was like Trin or something like that. Oh, that's Ooh. another thing. Yeah. Freaking. One of the Power Rangers? Yeah, the guy who played is Tommy Oliver, Jason Frank. They, yeah, uh, he yeah. recently passed away. Well, technically, wow. he kind of, let's just say, offed himself. I know, I know. That was okay. so sad, uh, too, man. Not start the We're match. We're talking something. about sad things Yeah, now. Jason David Frank. That's right, Ancient One. Yeah. Something happened to my Wi-Fi. I need to fix it real quick. Please stand momentarily. Huh? He said something happened to his Wi-Fi. Please stand by momentarily. Yeah. Denied. <laughs> so, James, have you heard of the show Pound Puppies? I have heard Where... of the show Pound Puppies, yes. Love that show. It still comes on right now on TV. Not right now, but in the mornings it comes on. Um, what about Ike? Um, it's about Mike and Ike. Not like the candy, but I forgot what it's called. Saved by Ink the Bell, yes. I have. I do remember Saved by the Bell. Who was yeah. talking about Saved by the Bell? <laughs> um, oh, that's a little, a lot of I've also got another for you there, James. Uh, James did you see the? Uh, I'm trying to remember what's called the, um, not the newer version of Power Rangers with Cosmic Four or you not know, Cosmic Fury or everything like that, but uh, the Once and Always Special, Once a Once a Ranger Special or whatever it was called. Oh yeah, um, um, Golden One. No, no, they they did a uh, they did a event like where uh, all the Power Rangers got together, like you know the old Rangers got with the newer Rangers. Yeah, it was Billy. A huge deal. Yeah, 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 the Billy's guy. Back. Yeah, the guy who played as Billy from the original. Yeah, he's he's still up and around. Um, heck, they even brought back the one guy. Walter, he's, he's John, sort of, uh, Walter Jones. Yeah, that guy's controversial. The thing about their but we're not going to talk about it why here. No, <laughs> this yeah. is not the place for it. The actual um, Power Ranger suit costs a lot of money. But yeah, the, the new Yellow Ranger in that was actually the daughter of the actual actress who played the original Yellow Ranger too, by the way. Oh, no way. For real? Yeah. <laughs> One of the Power Rangers took their outfit. Because if, you, because if you actually watch the special, they actually incorporated that into the movie as we're talking about, uh, you know, not to give away spoilers, but James knows what I'm referring to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Power Rangers once and always. Yep. Yeah, it's a Netflix fan event. What's sad, one of the Power Rangers got in trouble for taking their um, costume home. What? Which one? I think it was the red one. Oh. No, he didn't get in trouble for taking the costume home. The, what he basically got in trouble for has, had to deal with uh, banking issues or something like that. No, I, I read about it. some one of the Power Rangers took their outfit home when they're not supposed to because of the they have to lock it up because it's oh. like expensive. I think. Do you guys ever see that video? Uh, Bat in the Sun, White Ranger versus Scorpion, Superpower Beatdown. Mm, nope. No. Oh, we'll have to. I'll have to share it with you guys during the after party. It's actually pretty cool.
he got in trouble for fraud. Oh, who was that? The Red Power Ranger. Forgot oh. what his name was. Gotcha. Oh, well. Uh, Austin St. John. Yeah, Austin St. John. Oh, yeah, that guy. <laughs> Face Game says, you all are wrong for filling me with nostalgia. Really? We're filling you with nostalgia? <laughs> what are we talking about? Oh, wait, nostalgia of Power Rangers? Yeah. I didn't know you watched Power Rangers there, Ace. He got in trouble for stealing from COVID relief funds. Okay, yeah, that's that's crappy. Yeah, that yeah, that that's not good. All right, in other news, yeah. Goldbrook's uh, huh. down to his final stock here. Gumbo Boy has a solid lead. Three minutes, nineteen seconds remaining in the match. <laughs> Sorry, I had to change the subject, man. Podcasts, guys. We get to talk about that over podcasts. We could, we could, yeah. My goodness, my my Wi-Fi. I switched currently as one bar, even though the thing that's producing the right buy is right by it. Hey, nice job, Goldbrooks. Nice elimination there. Gumbo now down to two stock. Goldbrooks still holding on to his final stock here. Two minutes, 50 seconds remaining on the clock. A good grab will probably end the match. Oh, looks like uh, Goldbrooks has the waft right now. Oh, up throw. Oh, he's yeah. in trouble. Yep, he's out. He's done for. Yeah, Gumbo maybe winning the match. Nice job, Gumbo. One day, maybe we can speed about these um, matches too. Only members exclusive um, podcast. Oh, member exclusive stream. Yeah, we'll, we'll be doing one of those here uh, next week. Yes. All right, moving on to the next match. Does that it's mean time the for Jamie Kleinkoff and Agent Eight Ten for the next matchup. Actually. Uh, Gumbo Boy uh, is still in the middle of a streak, right? Um, he is. I that's right. Yeah. That he, yeah. This is his last battle. There we go. Okay. Didn't the Power Rangers have cell phones in their show? No. No, they didn't. <laughs> there were Actually, no James, let me kind of correct you there. It's called Wild Force. Okay, all right. No, no, no. Oh. I'm talking about the original... 1993. <laughs> 1993, bro. So what they they were know? walking around with cell phones. They had those communicators, yes, but they didn't have actual... Anyway, I'm no, going to shut up. No, they didn't. <laughs> so you're saying that the communicators on their arm was what got them... Yeah, when they were talking to Zed and... Or not Zed. Um, Zordon. <laughs> Zordon. They're, God, man, I can't remember their names, man. I know who they are. I just don't remember their freaking names. Well, I don't watch... I never watched it, so I thought it was asking questions. I wasn't allowed to, unfortunately. All right, JVK going with uh, King DDD, right down to one stock and hasn't even been a minute in the match. Uh, Gun Boy already racking up the damage where he has received less damage. Another spike? Ow. All right, let's see if he can. Uh, Free stock. I'm still trying to fix my current internet issues at the moment. Yeah, and this is actually a, this is actually a second match, by the way, for this particular uh, lobby. This is the third match. Uh, let's see. Just got this this bunch and. Are you one? Oh, okay. Well, that's win number three, I believe. Yep. Indeed it is. All right. I'm going to position my switch better so it can receive Wi-Fi. There we go. <clears throat> See if there's any difference. <laughs> oh, yes, there is. Okay, that was three win streak. It'll be a Reaser fan, which is HNA 10. Pick 
cable go to there. There's a stage we don't see very often. Oh, the Persona stage. Yep, Mementos. Yep. <laughs> right, little mini, mini racer fan going as the Lil Mac as always, and so does uh, Agent A 10 with Dark Samus. That's also something we haven't seen James do on his end either, and that's called Persona. Yeah, it's not uh, not a game series that uh, I'm ready to introduce here on this channel. <laughs> Considering that we are uh, converting to a Mario-centric channel. Okay, Ari stock taken off, train passing by. He had no time to stop for that. Okay, so... Going with the forward tilts, they're surprisingly working. Uh-oh. Right, keeping distance. Tries to attempt another forward tilt and misses again and again and again and again. Okay. <laughs> another charge shot. Forward smash lands. Tries to land another one. Oh, loses the KO punch. Blue do now. Okay, let's see. Any race of fan trying to keep the distance, even though that is not good for Lil Mac, resulting in another stock being fa failed. Yeah, those little max right. recovery is mega bad. Yeah. Worse than the game, and that's for a reason. Well, there we go. <laughs> Agent 810 winning the match. As we speak, it literally just falls off the stage. Yep. Well, that was fun. Okay. Next match. Ruh-oh. ruh ruh Reggie. <laughs> I can't do I can't do Scooby. There's some characters I can, and certain characters I can't. But when you said Shaggy, uh, you said Raggy. Like Zoic Scoob, I'm going against in Dark Samus. Did you know they confirmed another Scooby Doo movie? Oh, another Studio Ghibli movie. Nice. Which one? Um, the new one. Um. I don't know what it's called, but I know that they just confirmed it. The guy that played Shaggy from the first two that just came Say out. Say Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Oh, Scooby Doo, Scooby -Doo. not Studio Ghibli. My bad. Okay, what so he's coming back to play Shaggy yeah. again. Yeah. That's cool. The same actor. The same actor as all of them. Same. Is it a live so action movie look. or animated? Live action. Oh, hmm. it's that same guy. Oh. <laughs> Guys, you guys, the one oh, that played uh, the lady that played Velma, Daphne, Shaggy, and Scooby. I'm pretty sure you guys already know this, but did you guys know that he uh, acted as William Afton, the FNAF movie? Did you know that he played in um, the one that the played award? in? Are you talking about Shaggy, correct? Screen, yes. Shaggy. Yeah, he played in Scream too. Scream, he was the killer. Yeah, he was one of the killers. The killer, yeah. The main one is that it, that, that was with him is actually um, Sidney Prescott's brother. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sidney Prescott's brother is one of them. And the new one that's coming out, she's coming back to do her debut. Oh, have you seen the new um, X Men ninety seven there, James? Uh, I have not yet. Speaking oh, I've of, with, uh, Deadpool I've seen and, at least two uh, episodes Wolverine. of that. It, it's actually pretty good. Speaking of Scooby Doo, um, did you know that Scooby Doo was animated? He wasn't actually a real dog. Oh, it was CGI, oh, of course. Mm -hmm. All throughout the movie, he was animated. Like, all they did was um. Use the voice of somebody. If that was an actual dog, I I would have I would have bought him. <laughs> well, Scooby Doo. Who wouldn't want? Who wouldn't want a talking dog? Well, yeah, in some the, parts of the movie, the, they do have Scooby, 
as the actual dog, but half of the movie is in a name. Yeah, well, the uh, the person who usually who did uh, Scooby in a lot of the cartoons was actually the same person who voiced Fred as well. If you think about that for a moment. The guy who did Fred also voiced the voice Scooby. Scooby. Yep. Yeah. Gotcha. If you go into if you go to the very first one where it says uh, uh, Scooby Doo, where are you? For example, it'll actually tell you in the credits. Gotcha. Hey, Scrappy. Trainer Mystic, welcome, buddy. Where are you? But did I mystery. have I ever told you guys that I was actually in the credits of a movie, but they popped me out and my mom out and my brother? Why's that? Because it was a longer, you know how movies they make them, and if it's a, like a long movie, and you know they take and cut out movie, parts of the movie to make it shorter, that's why. So you're in the director's cut. Unfortunately, my name's in the cast on the extras. You can literally see my name, but it was my other evil name. You know what's hilarious? You want to know what is absolutely <laughs> hilarious? Guess who what's Michael that? Abbott gifted a gifted membership to. Himself. <laughs> Super like gaming. No, no. Oh, Michael. Abbott Michael is trainer, trainer Mystic. Michael Abbott is trainer Mystic, and he gifted himself a oh, gifted wow. membership. <laughs> okay, wow, and he gifted Mike. and he gifted what? another gifted membership to Soap Peachy Networks. There we go. Really, really trainer. That was actually kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's actually kind of funny. Me and James caught that at the same time. I know. <laughs> it's like, uh, we know who Michael Abbott is. Why is he giving himself a gift of membership? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Hashtag he Michael Abbott in the live chat, friends. He gave himself away. Yeah. yeah. All right, next match. Mm-hmm. Holy cow, the clock is ticking, friends. Up and down to the final minutes of the stream. My goodness. Yeah, we already we're four minutes away from our two hour mark. Yeah. Yeah, and tomorrow we have another stream. Yep, Mario mm -hmm. Kart 8 Deluxe, friends. Is that gonna start at 8 30 tomorrow or 9 o'clock? It's got uh I don't know what time I'm gonna start that one. Because you might be working Mondays. I am working Monday. Oh, so you have to do 8:30. So you have to. Get I might off have to. I might actually have to do it earlier in the day. Well, I don't know. Well, there you go. Yeah, we have to because you yeah. got to commute for your job. Yeah. Yeah, we know, right? Gold Glee. How ironic is it to gift a membership for yourself? And that was purely out of luck, wasn't it? Now he's laughing because he's like, "What a good day to them." Yeah. He said this isn't the first time. This isn't the first time that happened. Now, Samus versus DK is a pretty tricky matchup. Projectiles and reels. <laughs> Trainer says this isn't the first time it's happened. <laughs> Guys, you're one more like away from a 30 like hype. Go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already. Remember to like, see comments, help the channel grow. I thought that he was a brand new. Uh, I'm not sure. We'll probably have to ask him that later in the voice chat. Well, we're having a meeting tonight. Oh, no, oh, that's right. Yeah, we are having a meeting tonight. Dang it. I keep forgetting that. We'll ask him next time. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Shoot, not tomorrow. I'm going to bed. Like, because I got yeah, work in the, mor or the yeah, following you morning. Commute. You got to commute on for your job for Monday. Yeah, yeah we know. Ooh, Sounds gold cannibal. Dress. The job comes first. Let's see if he can close out one stock. Come on. At least he got stock off. Yeah. Nice. 
the trainer says, I've unintentionally gifted myself in other streams. Your uh, reaction is the best reaction I've had of that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, so uh, right, Agent A10 it. and Golden Boy are asking if they can fight each other before the stream ends as sure. well as Samus Ditto. Sure, go ahead. Right. Go for it. Cannon battle time. All right, guys. Here we go. We got a raid. Right. The right battle too. of the ages. Yep, we are going what on a raid. The... I'll look for the your raid target. In. I've already got it. Touché. All right, we're over here at uh, Super Mario 3D Land uh, for our final match of the stream. It is Gumbo's a Samus versus Asian A Ten's Dark Samus. All right, Gumbo's boy already starting off with a lot of damage. These two basically have a very similar strap with the bombs and then charging up. The back throw, if he punishes, does the attack off stage. Okay, a lot of. Uh, Explosions at the end of the blaster are really uh, causing a lot of damage and it's missing. Uh oh. Imagine if that didn't uh, recover. Okay, so. Um, uh, Agent 8 10 currently at 133%, 113%. It's not looking good. Almost uh, taken off the stock. But uh, Agent 8 10 holds his own for a while longer. And these characters are both pretty heavy and it's hard to. Uh, Get off stage. Oh, Agent A10 jumps at the wrong time. If he didn't jump, he probably would have avoided that. All right, back to neutral. Charge shot lands, and the damage keeps on going, and goes for the tether, and then the spike. Okay, retaliates. Oh, yeah, very. It's a kind of close of how these two play, but uh. Gumbo is pretty faster of how uh, Agent A10 reacts towards these. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, Agent A, they're both at uh, two stock. While Agent A10 is racking up some more damage and uh, catching up, uh, Gumbo is still cleaning up more damage. Order after the charge shot, causing another uh, an elimination from the neutral air. I don't. I wonder if it's enough for uh, Agent A10 to make a comeback since they're already uh, more damage. And then the upbeat? Oh, we've been quite the epic elimination. All right, possible edge guard. Oh, bomb? Up air? They're so close. Oh, dude, that was a that was a weird hitbox for uh, the neutral air. Already at. One stock, two minutes, 40 seconds remaining in the match. It's starting to look kinda even, even though of uh, the circumstances of Agent A10's percentage damage, but it's actually looking pretty even. Ah, not so much anymore. Oh, back and forth re with the retaliation. Ah, this could be like one grab back air, it kills. And that's the end. All right, nicely done. Way to go to Gumbo Boy for winning the match there against Agent 810. That's going to do it for the Smash Brothers live stream tonight, guys. Thank you again so much for tuning in on this live stream. We're going to go ahead and everybody, have everybody do their outros. So, DJ, we'll start with you, buddy. Hello, I'm DJ. I'm a moderator of Super Live Gaming, as well as Save the Gamer Mom, as well as Game Illuminary. Thank you for allowing me to co-host tonight on the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. You guys take care. Make sure you hit that like button and maybe become a member next time on the next live stream. Take care, everybody. All right. Thank you, DJ. All right. Sparkadel Animations. Go ahead, buddy. All right. <clears throat> Hello there, Super Rare Gamers. I am Sparkadel Animations. I am an animator and artist on the YouTube platform. I am also a moderator and probably one of the best Smash players here. And, uh... It was really nice being here uh, once again in the Smash streams. I hope I'm looking forward to more Smash streams and a great time. All right. Thank you very much, Spark. And last but certainly not least, Ezlo21. Uh, Ezlo21, you can pretty much find me over here on YouTube, of course, over on Twitch. I will be back with more 
Sonic Frontiers tomorrow, and I will see you in the after party there, James. All right, perfect. Thank you very much there, Ezlo21. I appreciate it. We'll see you around. All right, friends, we're going to wrap up the live stream. Just so you guys know, we're going to be going on a live redirect. And what that means is my live stream is going to end and you'll be redirected to another live stream that's in progress. But that's going to be it for tonight's live stream of Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Guys, thank you again so much for making us a part of your Saturday evening. We know there's a lot of places you guys could have gone. You guys chose to hang out with us, and that is awesome. Thank you guys so much. If you enjoyed this stream... Make sure you guys hit that like button. Remember the likes and comments you leave here definitely help our channel grow. Also, guys, if you are new to the channel and if you're enjoying our content, consider subscribing to us and hit that notification bell next to it so you can be notified when the next live stream is posted. Follow us on all the different social media platforms, guys. We're on Discord, Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. Links to all those are in the description below. Anyway, guys, we're going on a live redirect. Use hashtag SuperLiveRaid. And we'll see y'all next time. Take care, everybody.